Welcome back to Restoring Aquina, where in this episode we continue work on the tow rail and start getting the boat ready for spring work. So after the epoxy is good and dry, I, um, I cut the, the bungs pretty much as close as flush I can get them. Um, and then I've been using just a standard block plane to um, get down to wood and that's been working really well and then after that I'll probably hit it with an orbital sander and then hand sand. So I just finished a rough planing of the whole tow rail. There's a couple of areas, well, around pretty much anywhere that I epoxied, um, the wood is a little bit darker because the epoxy has saturated um, the wood. After a little bit more planing, a little bit more sanding, and then with the finish on it, it'll, it'll all look good though. So the other problem spot on the starboard side is this piece right here, and it's the joint between the two different parts of the tow rail. So there's like a scarf joint coming up the side here. Um, and then the end of this top piece of the scarf um, just kind of rotted out and um, it just didn't have a nice fit. So my plan is to um, cut down this piece and make all this even with each other and then drop in a new piece. So I just finished chiseling out um, the little slot for the new piece of wood on that scarf. Um, so now I'm going to go home and go through my mahogany scraps. Um, to find a piece that, to go in here. All right, so now that our replacement piece is in here and hardened, um, I'm gonna trim it down and shave it down to um, its final shape. And then my plan is to use the second part of the tea cleaner, um, which basically acts like a bleach. Um, and then with a series of uh, coats of that, it'll bleach out the mahogany and um, hopefully make it look just like the rest of the wood. After these couple days of work, um, school, work, and sports kind of caught up with me and I wasn't able to put uh, as much time as I wanted to into the boat so there's a little bit of a gap between um, these periods of work but um, I'm ready to go this spring and I'm hoping to ramp up my time spent working. It's a nice and warm February Sunday so I am opening up all the hatches and cleaning out all the leaves, pumping down the bilge, um, getting it ready for spring work. Uh, the bilge was pretty filled up. Uh, had a little bit of ice, but uh, nothing too crazy to worry about. I'm uh, we're planning on taking off that that nut or that uh, bracket piece um, in hopes or to open up the bilge so um, it uh, won't get as filled up as it did in the past month. Um, unfortunately, or I mean, I don't know if this is the best design, but there's no other um, place for water to enter or exit any, any lower down in the bilge. So I kind of want to get the um, manual bilge pump working soon um, that way I can just keep it as low as possible right now it has this little uh, manual diaphragm pump um, but it doesn't seem to be actually sucking up any water and I think I just need to replace the diaphragm my dad said that a lot of times those will crack um, after they haven't been used in a while so it doesn't have any suction um, so I'm gonna troubleshoot that Hopefully get that working as soon as I can.
Coop got the manual bilge off of the uh, brackets. Uh, it was a bit of a struggle. So we figured out the problem. Um, it's with these, um, these flaps and they're not sealing up so it's not really providing any suction. Um, so we'll probably just have to replace that. Um, Got to figure out if I want to just replace the whole thing. I was really surprised to find that my simple green had frozen, which I didn't think would happen. Um, I'm mixing up a batch that I'm gonna scrub the bilge with um, because I'm already pumping it down. So I figured mine as well. The bilge has this really nasty algae on it, um, which I think is contributing to a lot of the smell. So I think getting this cleaned up to a certain degree um, as soon as I can will be helpful. So we just threw together this um, little stand for the engine um, so we can get working on it. Um, we're probably going to need to do a carb clean and um, just get everything nice and cleaned up and ready to go um, and then uh, replace the lower engine unit uh, oil and impeller. So not too big of a job. Um, it ran when we um, fired it up in the fall. so. Um, it's in it's in decent shape all right so i just finished up greasing up all the different gears and parts for the winches um the first the first one is already assembled um so now i'm gonna put this one all back together all right so that's all i have time for in this video but thanks for watching and be sure to stay tuned for the next episode